Favourite karaoke song, correct? Uh, it is my favourite karaoke song. Because you don't have to hit too many notes. Just oh, when I'm walking, I strut my stuff and I'm so strung out. It's the same note. <laughs> oh, no, <it's> not. <laughs> oh this... Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> we will, we will rock you. <laughs> I'm not sure what the... <laughs> Footage of you on YouTube. Yeah. And and you would you you had a gig, yeah. And like you, what is this going on here? <laughs> Explain uh, what this is. All right. It's I kind was, of like crowd surfing. It was crowd surfing in instalments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that footage. <laughs> Was at the, uh, that was at the Leeds Festival, which is this massive music festival in the UK. And um, I was up on stage. And it was one of those, it was like a massive, you know, a thousand people in the audience. And there was a guy, here's how it started, there was a guy dressed as Santa. Of course, and that's, I said, that's how I always start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I made Santa crowd surf his way to the stage, <laughs> nice. which he did. And then he stood on stage and watched me for the whole gig like this. <laughs> Santa had had a few whiskies. <laughs> uh, and then I got to the end of the gig and said, oh, I was starting to talk about my artificial foot. And someone in the crowd went, show us. So I went, all right, there it is. And then someone else went, crowd surf it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and of course I went, well, I don't know, I'm going to have to check with Santa. And Santa belched and went, do it. <laughs> so then I took my foot off and started to crowd surf it around the room. Meanwhile, someone uh, kicked a beach ball up on stage. So I, like, perched on the beach ball <laughs> as my foot went round the room. <laughs> and Santa watched. And then I made everyone sing Footloose while it happened. <laughs> My favourite karaoke Your song. Favorite karaoke song. <laughs> Brilliant. And then as I got back on the stage, I swear to God, a guy down the front went, Hey, mate, you can't sing Footloose anymore because George Michael's gay. <laughs> 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 it was just the most bizarre moment. And you know what you would have is like anyone, people, people coming to like the next show the next night going, oh, I hear he does this great thing with a beach ball, his leg, <laughs> a, a stoned stan Santa and some random footloose comment. Well, oh, do you know the next night I was in uh, Reading for the Reading Festival and uh, uh, same thing, middle of the afternoon, a thousand people and I said to her, and I said, oh, the last time I was here in Reading I got heckled from a woman up the back in a wheelchair who had an artificial foot and this voice went, oh, it was me. <laughs> Was it you? And it was the best heckle ever. She actually took her foot off and passed it around. <laughs> and I said, well, because of you, I did this whole thing last night in Leeds. I want to come up there and shake your hand. And she went, I haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Pills, did, you ever, did you ever fear that, you know, you weren't going to get the, the foot back? Because, you know, you go to the football and people nick off your football. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think... This may not come back. Yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, it was a thousand people in that tent, and then there were like forty thousand people in the rest of the the kind of the festival. And I actually said to them, "I want this back." How often you, do you ever say to an audience, "I want my foot back"? <laughs> in, that, in that footage, you couldn't. I don't think you could really hear it, but you say, "I want to. I want you to keep that above your head." So you actually <laughs> want to keep that above. Have your fun. Keep it in my distance. Just in case it came back, you go, "Hang on, this is not my foot." <laughs> Somebody swapped it! Now, you know what you should have done is incorporated that into the Paralympics because you were, you were uh, over there for the, for the, the ceremony, yes, it was. Yeah, which yeah. would have been very exciting. It was. That should have been in the opening ceremony. What a crowd surfing foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what they wouldn't let me say in the opening ceremony? The line I wanted to say, but they wouldn't let me say. Yes. <laughs> which was, if you think you recognise the Chinese athlete with no arms, he's the drummer that screwed up in the opening ceremony. <laughs> Why is that offensive? <laughs> Do you know the weirdest thing about the Paralympics is that every time I go through a metal detector, my foot sets off the metal detector. Yeah, and, so yeah, and yeah. then I have to explain and go, it's an artificial foot, and they, oh, we don't really know what to do, and then someone might pat it down or they'll make you roll it up. So when I went through, I was in Beijing, and to get into the Olympic venues, you had to go through the metal detector. And it beep, and I thought, oh, this is going to be even worse, because the guy's, you know, he probably doesn't even speak English. I'm in China. How, what's artificial foot in Chinese? Good call. I'm not sure. Um, I've never seen it on a menu. <laughs> <laughs> So I went through and beep, and I went, oh dear. I went over to the guy and went, oh, it's, uh, and he went, go through. And I went, what? He went, it's okay, go through. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> and I went, oh 
my God, why was that so easy? And then went, oh, yeah, I met the Paralympic. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say, is that all you got? <laughs> it would have been weird had I not set it off. But I saw the most amazing stuff. I saw... And because the thing is... The thing is that the athletes there have the most amazing sense of humour. Like, people with disabilities have the sickest sense of humour and the weirdest. There was, there was a, apparently a very tall Swedish woman walking around the Olympic Village hand in hand with a short statured person. And she was like 6'1 and he was this high. And she had a shirt on, a t-shirt, and it said, Yes, he's my boyfriend and an arrow pointing down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hilsing, do you want to try to win 20 bucks in 20 seconds? Do it. Yeah! We'll get the others. I want to hear other stuff, though, later. Oh, okay. there's more stuff. No, there's more stuff. Yeah. Start the clock. Uh, were the children singing in the Paralympics opening ceremony pretty enough? <laughs> uh, uh, yes. How much have you lost so far in the stock market crash? Uh, none. Uh, but on the housing market, I'm not doing well. <laughs> if Adam Hills was a suburb, would you live there? <laughs> yes, only if the twin suburb was Beverly. If, if, you could, uh, if you could only choose one person to be stuck on a desert island with, who would it be? Biff Warhurst or, or Alan, Alan Bro? Biff Warhurst. Uh, what's your favourite yoga position? Uh, the, the sun salute. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds... Oh, it's this Sexy. one. It's, it's the, it's the, it's the up and then down. Oh, oh. ouch! Oh. Should have stretched. Should have yeah. stretched. <laughs> Should have stretched. And, and while the... you're there, yeah. Who would you turn gay for? <laughs> is, is your next sentence going to be? Because we've got him right here. <laughs> uh, the answer, by the way, would be me. <laughs> Oh, really? I would turn gay for me. Why the hell not? If I wasn't me, if I was, like, if I was sitting out there, I'd reckon I'd go me. <laughs> Surely you already have. <laughs> Brian, you can have the 20 bucks. <laughs> there you go. Adam Hills. Catch Adam in the spicks and spectacular to a great show. Should catch it. And uh, check out website for tour details plus a DVD. Adam Hills live. Joy Munger and Character Full is out November 20. Adam Hills, everyone. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you.